Okay, the problem statement says we're supposed to find the current I1 and the current I2 using the node voltage method. First thing to do is count up how many nodes we have. I see one, two, and a total of three nodes. There's no indication of which node to use for the reference or the ground node, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick the bottom one. So I'll draw a ground symbol on the bottom one. Next step, assign the node voltages. I'll call that one voltage V1, and I'll call that one voltage V2. After that, we can apply KCL at the remaining nodes. And I'll start on node one. What I want to do is sum the currents that are exiting that node. So I'll start right here. Current exiting. Well, let's see. 6 amps is pointing in, so it's not matching the direction here. So we'd say we've got minus 6 amps. Uh, coming along to the top, we have 5 amps going with the arrow. So that gives us plus 5 right here. Uh, continuing, we have the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor. So we've got V1 on this side, V2 on that side. So the current going through there is V1 minus V2 over 8. And then similarly, current exiting here is V1 minus voltage on this terminal, which is 0 because it's the ground divided by 4. So our first equation is the sum of all those values. So we have minus 6 plus 5 plus V1 minus V2 over 8 plus V1 over 4. Sum of that equals 0. Now in the same manner we can indicate the currents that are exiting on this node. And we have three. And I'll start again on the current right here. So we have V2 on this side of the resistor, V1 on the other side. So this current is V2 minus V1 over 8. Coming up top, 5 amps is pointing in the opposite direction, so that's minus 5. And then on the bottom current we have V2 on one side of the resistor. This side is 0. And then divide that by 4 to get the current. So at node 2, we sum those currents to get V2 minus V1 over 8 minus 5 plus V2 over 4 equals 0. Now if you solve the pair of equations for V1 and V2 by whatever means is convenient, you should end up with V1 being 8 volts and V2 being 16 volts. I'll go ahead and mark that over here. So now to find the desired currents, on this side we have I1 is 8 volts on one side, 0 volts on the other, divided by 4. Oops, let's try that again. Equals 2 amps. So that would be one answer. And on the other side we've got I2 is 16 volts on one side, 0 on the other, divided by the resistance. And that means I2 is 4 